Aloha, it's Robert Stelic with Blue Planet Surf. Today I'm going to go over how to change the battery, the internal battery in one of these um, Scorprega pumps. It's like an internal battery pump and uh, the pump that, the battery that's inside this pump is uh, basically a lead acid battery, kind of like, looks just like this one. And um, these are same as a car battery, lead acid, it can go bad over time. So if you don't charge it for several months and the battery goes flat and it stays that way for a while, like after a few months, the battery can go bad. So how can you tell if it went bad? If you try to charge it, and this is the red charging light. If it doesn't turn green, even after you charge it overnight or for a longer period of time, chances are um, your battery, internal battery might have gone bad. A uh, good way to test it, to double check, is to um, use this, these alligator clamps that come with it, and just hook it up to a 12 volt uh, car battery, external battery. And if it works on a car battery, chances are the pump's good and the battery's bad. So I'm gonna show you how to change out the battery. It's fairly simple. So basically what you need is a, is a 12 volt, nine amp hour battery that you can get pretty easily. It's a um, pretty commonly available battery. You can get it on Amazon or at any battery supply store basically. So really the only other tool you need is a, is a Phillips head screwdriver with a, a fine, fine point uh, or a fairly thin screwdriver so you can get into the pump. Now um, to I'm going to unplug it from the charger here. So the first thing you want to do is pull out the, the fuse. Easy to use, just use pliers. So this is that the electric fuse. You have to pull that out to take it apart. Then there's, um, there's two screws on the back here next to the, between the fuse and the 12 uh, volt DC in. So you unscrew these screws. Okay, got these two screws, I'm gonna put them on the side, make sure I don't lose them. Then you turn it upside down, and there's, a, uh, on the four corners, there's holes with the um, screw holes. So basically, um, this hole here, this hole here, and then up here and up here. Those are the screws you have to undo. Don't worry about the screws that hold the black plastic part on there. So just the four corners. Okay, so turn it upside down, make sure you don't lose those screws. Make sure you get those four screws, put them on the side. And okay, now you can kind of wiggle open the, the cover. There's like a blue cable coming around here. Pull out the cable, but there, it's kind of looped around this rubber part. So I'm gonna un, unloop it and then just slide the cover off to the side. So um, now I can get to this battery. So what I'm gonna do is, there's like a, a rubber padding here, or like a rubber part to keep it from bouncing around. Okay, so I took out this rubber um, bumper thing out from the battery. There's also one on the top that I'm gonna peel off. I'm gonna save these for the to, on the, to use with the new battery. So then you can just kind of carefully take it out. There's that cable here. I guess slide it out this way and then unplug these two and the battery terminals. This is the old battery and here's the new battery that I'm going to use to replace it. Same 12 volt battery. Um, so just make sure when you connect it that the red the connector with the red cable goes on the red side, the plus positive battery terminal and the black on the negative. I'm going to slide it in the same way, kind of underneath that blue cable, back inside here. And then I'm going to put the, the shock absorber thing in here. Another one on top. Hold it all in place. And swivel this back on top. And then hold it together, turn it upside down. Screw the four corners first. Squeeze back in there. Okay, 
because I got the four screws in the four corners. Now I'm gonna do the front of the thing. That's two little screws in here. So the best way to maintain your battery is just to regularly charge it. So even in the winter time when you're not using the pump at all or if you're not using it for several months, you should still charge it up. Occasionally, every two, three months, charge it up and maybe run it for a little bit just to keep the battery working. And you don't want to leave it completely flat. Like if you, um, if you use the battery and it's completely discharged, you want to make sure you charge it up again within a couple days at least. Don't just leave the battery completely flat for a long time because then that's when the battery starts to corrode in internally. I guess the lead acid batteries have a tendency to corrode and they don't hold the charge forever. So uh, unlike a lithium battery that can last a very long time and hold the charge much longer, the lead acid the, the batteries don't do that. Okay, so now I put the fuse back in here. Got the screw, the, these two screws. I got the screws, four screws on the bottom. Now I'm going to test it out. It's running, the green light comes on. So um, this one's all good now. And uh, yeah, so if you have that issue, I'll put a, a link below to the description for the kind of battery that you need as a replacement battery. Really all you need is a replacement battery and a, a thin Phillips head screwdriver. And that's it, it's fairly easy repair. So thanks for watching. Enjoy your inflatable board and the pump. Aloha.